All right, today we are hitting our Chicago hikes. It's a beautiful day, as you can see. The COVID masks uh, man mandate. mandate has been lifted and everybody is out. Everybody. <laughs> like the beach, the uh, North Avenue beach is just packed like sardines. And then the parking lot here at Jackson Park is packed like sardines so everyone's out getting sun no masks so we're doing the loop here it's a short loop it's only a mile and less than two miles uh, and it's the Jackson Lagoon so we are behind the Museum of Science and in this industry and that would be a great place to park if you had membership highly recommend it I am a life member of the Museum of Science and Industry, which you can see directly in front of us. Unfortunately, I don't have any of my membership papers and I think it closes if it's even open at five. And we're here pretty late, so we took a regular public parking. And we, <laughs> we'll see how that worked out. I've never been down here. I mean, I played Jackson Park, the golf course in my 20s. This was our primary golf course. But uh, I've never been to the lagoon here. It's a nice path. It smells really good. It smells fresh, fresh with life. It's nice to finally see green. Yeah. And we're wearing, sh I'm wearing shorts my golfing gear nothing like well I guess it's a golf course here I can be in my golfing gear I'm wearing my cool my cool guy shoes my Air Force ones there are no boats on the lagoons no like coat canoes or kayaks or paddle boats the Lincoln Park lagoons up by the zoo has paddle boats I ever tell you the story about Jay? Shout out Jay. What? When he proposed, he he did a whole had a whole day planned where they went walking through Lincoln Park Gardens and Lincoln Park Zoo, and then did a paddle boat ride, and then I think I know where this goes. And went to Gehas for um, fondue that night. And uh, so he was paddle boating. He was so worried about us about dropping the engagement ring that uh, his car keys fell out. <laughs> like down a grate? No, in the pond. In the, in the lagoon pond. like this. Uh -huh. They were gone. Never to be found. I forget what they had to do. I think they had to call. <laughs> call people for help. <laughs> Shout out Jay. Glad you could make it. <laughs> okay, we're going to turn off now. Alright, so the Clarence Darrow Memorial Bridge is closed. But we're gonna get a nice view, and we might cheat the system here, get a nice view of science and industry from the backside. Oh man. Well, how do you get to the other side? Down and around. It's really easy, really fast. All right, well, this is a nice view of science and industry here. Why don't I hand this up to you? Breaking the rules, breaking the rules. Don't like breaking the rules. Don't like breaking the rules. All right, other people are doing it, but still. Yeah, huh? no, this is the way. <laughs> kind of a cool view. All right, so uh, obviously if you're hiking this, you need to know that this is no good. Nuk nicht gut. All right, so Ryan, uh, you read on the description about the Japanese flower garden. Uh, that uh, yeah, the main picture they used for this hike was 
describing the Japanese garden. Well, that's supposed to be here. Uh, see where they're walking? That's where we want to be. Ah, well then let's cut back and, uh, and get there. Oh, and there's a bridge. Oh, I see. We want to be on the interior. So, Ryan, this is the controversial location for the Barack Obama library. That's what I thought. Yeah. Uh, but you didn't mention that. Um, yeah, so uh, a lot of people don't like this as a location for the library because, as we found, it's hard to park and there's a lot of other activity. This is a pretty robust area yeah it's a gorgeous area i mean if they were to if they're gonna if they're gonna bulldoze or do whatever yeah, to build a building that. that's sad um there's a, a park that's just west of here uh, i think it's about a mile west of here that is being touted as an alternative location that could use some re rejuvenation uh and kind of really pick up the economy of that area Whereas this area doesn't really need a like, economic pickup as much because it's science and industry and the golf course and the beachfront provide a lot of it. Anyway, so this is this is the site. And we're gonna cross the bridge, go onto the island, which I think is gonna be pretty cool. Okay, so this is the Japanese garden. Everybody's here for photos. All right, Ryan, where do you want your photo? Hand me your phone. I can step on that rock. Okay. A lot of graduation photos. That's kind of cool. I like, I've seen a bunch of people with graduation gowns. All right, we're filming, we're filming photography. Ready? All right, let's do one more. All right, you're good. Thank you. Well, let's go across. Hey, look at the big uh, uh, my eyes are closed. Your eyes are closed. Oh, on the second one, we'll get on the first one. Okay. Can't have your eyes closed. There was a um, docent at the beginning of the garden kind of a, gave us a sheet of paper and explained that uh, this was created for the Chicago World's Fair in 1893 and was so successful as a Japanese garden that I guess Japan as a country is funding the, the care of it to this day. Yeah. So that's kind of cool. There are a whole lot of other things she said that I actually couldn't understand. Blue lights uh, at John night. John Lennon. And Del here. Lennon. Uh, oh, the Oko. Yoko Ono. I didn't know who statue. that Statue. That's John Lennon's wife, girlfriend. Okay. I don't know if they actually got married. Okay. This is the Yoko Ono Sky Landing. Sculpture. Yoko Ono Sky Landing 2016 Stainless Steel. Sky Landing is artist Yoko Ono's first permanent installation in the Americas. The represent representative lotus sculpture and embracing landscape rise on the original site of the Hohenden, the Phoenix Pavilion, which was constructed as a gift from Japan to the people of Chicago for the 1893 World's Columbian Exposition. Sky Landing harnesses the power of the site to become a place for congregation and contemplation, a place for one's mind, body, and spirit to be free and for all to come together to envision our greatest hopes, dreams, and aspirations for humanity. Sky Landing, as her creation, stems from Yoko's experiences and lifelong mission for world peace. For Yoko, and with her intention for all viewers, is it, it is an awa awaking into a new world, a world of peace among people of all nations. Sky Landing is a place where the sky and earth meet and create a seed to learn about the past and come together to create a future of peace and harmony with nature and each other. Yoko Ono. It's very nice. Yeah. Uh, Shout out Yoko Ono. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Yoko, you see this? Uh, be sure to subscribe. <laughs> what is it? Like, subscribe, comment, and follow. Yeah. This is where we parked? I don't think this is where we parked. But you know it's summer in Chicago with the good humor man in the background. 
No, I don't think Squirrel's parked. I don't remember the batting cage. Really? Where's the basketball court? So there's a basketball court here. Yeah, you're right. There are a lot of parking lots. Make sure you remember where you park. Oh, there's the guy in the pink car over there. Look at that ice cream truck. It's like a van. <laughs> it's a ice cream it's, van. It's an ice cream moving van. Oh, I have no idea where we are. Uh, there's that's. The... Oh, there's the gold statue. We Sorry. gotta take a left. That's it. We gotta go around. We were here before because we were gonna park right there. This yeah. is where we we're gonna park. Don't we go. But we, uh, yeah, our parking lot is yeah, so. over there. Yeah. All right, so let's let's keep going around the you path. Cut through. No, we'll go back and we'll go on the path. There's a really cool uh, gold statue down right over there. Let's go past it. Wow! And then we got to walk all the way back. Yes. And we're going off trail, off map. All right. Does not. All right, we're coming up to the end, which is at the driving range. That's kind of where we started. So that's one way to start at the driving range. It's kind of an easy item to locate or some of the parking lots. You get a sky view, a little bit of a skyline view from down here. And this hike, aside from the Japanese garden was actually very Pleasant, oh, yeah. very pleasant. I was not expecting it to be so pleasant. Yeah, I agree. Uh, you know, it is an urban hike. There are a lot of people. A lot of trash. Not necessarily garbage trash along the trail. Yeah, a lot of garbage trash, but not necessarily on the trail, but right off the trail. Yeah. I don't get the 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 normal nature feeling where nature is absorbing my energy subconscious and sub yeah subconscious energy. I, I'm not getting that here. Okay. I'm I'm. You're you're having it, it's being reflected back. Yeah. It's not it's, absorbing. It's reflecting. It, it's I st I still feel like I'm in Chicago. Yeah. I'm totally not, agree. I don't feel like I'm. In nature, I'm in a park in Chicago. It's pleasant, it's nice to see, but it's not healing. Yeah, yeah. And I'm not sure, you know, the next one, Humboldt Park, is either, but a lot of human history, both at these parks. So, um, you know, from a historical standpoint, human historical standpoint, these are, you know, worthwhile. Yes.